Kiri Engine is a brand new 3D scanning app for both Apple and Android. Let's go through using it and how to clean up the mesh in Blender. But firstly, what is 3D scanning? 3D scanning is kind of taking a whole bunch of photos from different angles of a specific object, letting your device or a cloud service that Kiri offers to process and create a 3D model where we can go ahead and maybe 3D print the item or add it to 3D scene. And I will show you this towards the end of the video. Now to start the scan, press the plus button down the bottom and then you start taking photos manually. So you just press the button down the bottom. There is a limit of 70 photos where compared to like polycams like 250, I'm hoping that they do increase this number so we can get more visuals. I'm just doing the road behind my house at the moment because I did a previous scan using uh, polycam, came out nice and I'm using this as a test piece. So this app is still in development, which is really important. I want to let you guys know. Um, the way they are rendering this is off in the cloud as well. At the moment, it is for free. There are links in the description on to download this. Um, but obviously, once I hit the 70 photo mark, which is about now-ish, there we go. Um, we come up with the menu, put in a title, what it is, send it up. I recommend putting OBJ as the file format. It just makes life a lot easier. So let's now go ahead and look at the raw data. File, import, OBJ, find our OBJ file, which is 3D modeled, re-centered. We select that and just go import. And here we can see the OBJ has come in. Let's just select it, R to rotate X 90 degrees, bam. So we can see this is absolute raw. Let's just go ahead and first clean it up. Now, if we go into wireframe mode, we can just see the complete density of everything that it is. We can see down the bottom here, we got 1.65 million vertices. So in the modifiers, let's go add modify first up, decimate. From here, I'm just gonna bring it straight down to 0.1 decimation. Let's press enter on that. And we can see our face count now is 33.2 million. And now it's dropped down to 329,000. I'm gonna press Control A and apply that modifier. And now let's press tab to go into edit mode and it's a little bit more workable. So let's just left click off. I'm gonna press C to bring up our select tool and I'm just gonna select all this jazz. Um, let's kind of grab as much as possible where the auto solving has come in. Nice, beautiful, delete vertices. Back into object mode, into materials, and you can see pretty good quality that's come out. Uh, this is upside down. Rotate X 180. There we go. The gutter's now the right way. Now, because of the way that I was walking, I didn't come back around and check this side. Which way was I walking? This way. But at the moment, there is a very limited number of photos that you can take. It's only 70. I'm hoping that increases dramatically in the near future. Because here you can see that we've actually got like uh, pockets so I'm not too sure what that's about. I think that was just me. I might've been moving a little bit too fast, but overall that is a very nice scan. Now, if we really wanted to go the extra step as well, we could probably decimate it by another 0.1. And now we're down to 29,000 vertices, but we are starting to get some severe warpage. So that's just something to be mindful of. Let's go ahead and create another scan. Unfortunately, I didn't record this one. And with Importer, let's kind of just write the positioning. Rotate X, minus 90. That's looking pretty flat. Let's just make sure it's kind of like 90 degrees-ish. Something like that. Let's press Tab to go into edit mode. Don't do that. Left click. Let's press B for box select. And I'm just going to start purging a whole bunch of vertices that we don't need. So about there. And we will do it for this upper area as well delete vertices let's come into material mode and you can see how this scan has come out now i tried to focus on this wall and get a little bit of this wall however there is a car right here so i couldn't really get around so that's why i've got a little bit of uh, funkiness with the hose here um, but once again let's go add modifier let's decimate let's go 0 0.05 and we're going from 1.3 million faces down to 65 thousand control a to apply that now obviously with this one what we could probably do is bake the texture down however 
that could be for another tutorial and if you want to know more about that leave a comment let me know so in this part we're going to merge a whole bunch of my 3d scans that we've created so we can see that the ball the road and now this concrete barrier that i came across so i 3d scanned this one kind of walking along the path and taken a whole bunch of photos this is another bush that's just outside my house and you can see that in a sec we kind of overlay it together. Now I was trying to work out how to shot this. So I was just blocking it really quickly. And we can see that these bushes really overlap really well. So you can't really see the seam once we come into the render settings. In a moment, you will see me rotating the road there to try and hide as much of the gutter there as possible. Cause my thought around this is this is a walkway. Now, obviously it's a bit of a flat plane and I can't really hide it. So what I'm going to do now is actually just extend the road and you can see how I've merged it. I've tilted that back road down a little bit. So there'll be a nice gradient there as well with the um, concrete walls and the bushes. I've kind of rotated them as well, just to cover that whole area. And then here, I'm just kind of hiding that top speed because I actually haven't cleaned up any of these models. From here, I go ahead and start setting up the sky environment texture, just to give a little bit of realism. I do a few more adjustments. And then the last thing I do now is set the depth of field on the camera. I've kind of left it really, really super shallow just to kind of hide as much of the detail as possible. But there we go, a finished product super quick.